So to give them tinfoil, to give them the pipes, to give them that, I think we need to reevaluate that and, and, and look at the situation, right? Because that's another tool that's killing them. The community is getting its first chance to weigh in on a controversial pilot program that would have given people battling drug addiction access to tinfoil and smoking pipes. The county halted the plan on Monday. The harm reduction program came with swift backlash. K2's Ricardo Lewis is live in southeast Portland. Ricardo, nearly two dozen people spoke out against the pilot program today. There was a lot of testimony today, mainly coming from people who are recovering addicts themselves, and they say this program would have only made the addiction crisis here even worse. Commissioners coming face to face for the first time publicly today. As far as the eye can see in downtown Portland, you'll find someone lighting up a piece of tin foil or looking for their next fix. For 27 years of my life, I slept in the dirt. And I prayed that people would just leave me alone, let me use drugs, and let me die because life is not worth living. Jason was once one of them. He lived on the streets of Portland for 27 years. He was able to put together a new life after one parole officer didn't give up on him. And then one day I was like, Jason, this problem is not going away until you do something about it. He testified to Multnomah County Commissioners on Thursday, now as a recovery mentor. He's speaking out against the now suspended $80,000 pilot program to provide smoking kits to people battling addiction. Kristen Olson's sister is one of the people the county thought they could help with this. And I believe her life is about to come to an end because Multnomah County is not pursuing detox and rehab or recovery for drug addicts. Instead, they are engaged in this policy of handing out paraphernalia. A lack of communication was a main reason for the program being paused. That came with swift backlash from commissioners who didn't get a seat at the table. Commissioner Sharon Myron and Chair Jessica Vega-Peterson went head-to-head -head Thursday after Myron questioned the chair's leadership skills. I, I don't think that putting the blame on the health department is a healthy way to lead. I, I think that we can do better. I'm happy to say that I you know, made the decision to um, approve the spending of this money for these supplies. Where, where the, where the follow-through didn't happen was on the next steps of engagement. And that, that's why I want to be very transparent about that. So I'm always willing to take responsibility for the staff. Now, we heard from a lot of people today who said that they want to see more detox and recovery. Uh, the county commissioners say that they want to see more data before a plan like this could be rolled out again. There are some people who are concerned that could happen. We're live in Southeast Portland. Ricardo Lewis, K2 News. Ricardo, thank you for that.